Hello everyone, Junior Dev here, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna be building this modern stylish website with animations. Uh, okay, let's jump right to it. Uh, so our project is uh, distributed in four parts. First part that we're gonna be building is this navbar that got some hover animations and when you scroll down, right now it's transparent, but when you scroll down we got this mirror glassy effect. As you can see, bluish in the back, so that's the first section that we're going to be building. The next section is the header. On the left side we got some text with a switch button. And on the right here is an image that got like infinite bouncing effect in CSS that we're going to provide. So this switch, uh, let's see what, I what it's doing. We can switch to the dark theme. As you can see, the whole project or whole website is changing when we uh, switch it back to the light but before uh, it's gonna change the whole uh, application as well but let's before that try to refresh it as you can see uh, everything is staying the same because we that data is stored in the local storage and pulled out let's change it back as you can see now we got these news company features in the now bar that is provided with react scroll that we're gonna uh, add to our project as dependencies when we click on the news getting to the next section that got some animation here and when we filter data also the text is moving like the bottom right and we got nice image animation effect as well so the next section is the company nice animations on the text and uh, phone when we scroll into the view and some little hover effects on the scrolls next section is like room and then uh, under that is featured features and here we got some tabs with animations you can switch as you can see it's popping from bottom to top on the images and the text and at the end we got a demo with the cards that are animating as well and at the end I mean there is a newsletter and footer at the bottom what what is left is this ra uh, nice button when we hover it it's getting smaller and opacity is changing but when we click it you can contact us as you can see this nice pop-up pop-up model is appearing and there is a tooltip that we are providing we can type something like hello all click enter and right now we are console to the we are console logging it but you can send it to the backend so let's go to the top Okay, so we got a lot, a lot of work, a lot of work to do. So let's jump right to the right into the project. We're gonna get rid of this. Uh, so we're gonna close it. This is the project that we're gonna be building from the scratch. As you can see, I already deleted some files and provide you some assets uh, like images and data for page. This is our dummy data that we're gonna be using for the page. So you're just gonna uh, jump to the github link that's gonna be in the description and copy and paste that into your project so right now what we need to do we need to install uh, like some dependencies so let's open new terminal and start is installing the first one uh, it's gonna be react scroll so let's copy this go back to the project and just install it uh, after that after that we're gonna install our tailwind so for installation for the tailwind go to the installations go to the framework guides create react app and just copy these two lines of code and install it paste it into the terminal and let's install it after that we're gonna get our tailwind config.js file and we're gonna copy this and import it right there as you can see it's here let's paste it and let's copy this and import it in our index CSS now we can test it we can copy this h1 go back to our application paste it here let's check it okay we need to start application so let's go here terminate it and start it again 
uh, after that so let's put it right here as you can see tailwind configuration is working let's add more dependencies let's install tailwind material or material tailwind go to the installations pick a react app and just copy this and paste it to our terminal after that we're gonna be using this uh, tailwind configuration and we're gonna be pasting it in our tailwind config file let's wait a couple of seconds okay go to the tailwind config config file and just paste that right now what we can we can try to check it if it's working like we copy this example paste it here just copy this button paste it under this text and as you can see material tailwind is working let's get rid of this right now okay the next thing that we're gonna be installing is motion like frame and motion uh, let's copy this line of code go back and install it okay let's check our dependencies we installed everything that we need and at the end we can probably install some some google fonts so one of the fonts is russo just copy this just go to the russo go down at the bottom and select regular 400 go to the import and let's import it in our project you will then go to the index css at the top you're gonna import it and now what we need to do to use it we need to go to the tailwind config and here in teams uh, extended we need to make like some object with key keys so it's gonna be font family and on inside we're gonna make something like russo one call it whatever you like and into the list we gonna import Russell one one of the phones that we're gonna be using is uh, let's go back is inter inter let's go pick it up let's remove everything and then let's copy everything from 300 I think to to the 400 uh, to the 900 I mean like everything from the 300 to the 900 so let's select that this one this one okay right now go to the import and copy that as well paste it in our index CSS are we gonna use it under this or above it in there and inside the list it's gonna be inter 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 and you need comma uh, and one more font that we're gonna be using is petit I think yeah petit and select let's remove everything select this one okay we don't remove everything from Enter and let's just copy this one. So back to index CSS, paste it down there into the tailwind. Let's petit formal and into the list. Let's type petit formal script. That's the name. Okay a lot of errors um, we need to restart our applications okay let's restart it again and I think everything's gonna be alright then 
If not, we're gonna check. Okay, everything is all right. So what we what are we gonna do now? We're gonna make some folders for the application. So let's make a new folder called components components inside that folder we're gonna have the first we're gonna have another folder it's gonna be the first uh, one that we're gonna deal with it's gonna be the navbar so let's create navbar uh, another folder it's gonna be something like all opponents and here we're gonna create new file like home.jsx and here we're gonna create r.jsx and that home gonna go here so here we're gonna import home okay and into the home we gonna import the the navbar so let's import navbar from navbar and let's just import it right here okay possible exports home okay okay now it's working we didn't export it as the default okay i think everything is set up we can start building our now bar and maybe what we can make another folder with wrapper container that we're gonna use so let's let's make that as well go to the components something like wrapper container and inside wrapper container okay wrapper container jsx okay nice so this is it this is our for initial project and see you everyone in the next video where we're gonna start building our project or our web application uh, starting with the uh, number. Bye!